As many of you know, breaking news has recently hit the media after 6 ix 9 was released from prison early due to the coronavirus. So far, 6 ix 9 has been very quiet and hidden, which has no one knowing what he's really up to or where he is, and that's what we will reveal to you in today's video, so stay tuned, you won't want to miss what we have to show you. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6 ix 9 and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, Takashi 6 9 is one of the most well-known artists in the entire industry. His rise to fame and success came very quickly, and he accomplished a lot in that quick time. He has six of his singles being certified platinum and multiple others reaching spots on the Billboard charts. But it's not just his music that made him so well known, a lot of it comes from him trolling on social media and being in constant drama with other rappers. This has not only made him one of the most well known, but also the most hated artist in the entire industry. 6 9 had a long list of enemies before he got locked up, and after he decided to snitch in court, his list of enemies has grown more than you could ever imagine. So many different people have threatened 6 9 and claimed that they will be waiting for him after he is free, which thanks to the coronavirus has came quicker than anyone expected. But now that he is out, he has been quieter than most expected and everyone is waiting for him to speak out, but he hasn't and we will show you what's been going on and what he's up to, so keep watching. But first, for those who didn't know, 6 9 was originally scheduled to be released on August 2nd of 2020. But because of his asthma and health complications, he was released earlier this week on April 1st. Everyone knows how dangerous it's going to be for 6 ix 9 on the outside. Even the judge who released him had the media saying that he was going to be released on April 1st, but nothing was said of it and then on April 2nd he was released. Due to his own safety, they kept it quiet. 6 ix 9 originally denied witness protection and, and said that his security will be enough but later they went public and said they will not work for him because it's too dangerous and no amount of money is worth their lives. This means that with no witness protection or security, 6 9 is very vulnerable, which is why so far he has been very quiet and hidden. There have been no restrictions for 6 9 as far as social media, except that everything he does will be watched. After a few days of being released, he used social media for the first time after he commented on a snitching post just to be funny. So far though, that is the only activity we have seen on his part, which is disappointing for some of us because a lot of us expected him to come out and just be who he is and instantly jump on social media, but that's not what happened. He is claiming that he will no longer troll and will only use his social media to promote his music. 6 9 has to release two albums after he already received an advance for millions of dollars from his label. He is putting out a Spanish album and an English album, and it is claimed, and as far as we know, that is all that he's going to be doing while in home confinement. That's all he's going to be working on. As of now, no one knows where 6 9s location actually is, and it's most likely going to stay that way. Like I said, he has no protection, and with 6 9 tattoos all over his face, there is nowhere that he can go without being recognized. His original plan was to leave New York as soon as he was released and live somewhere with max security, but once he found out that security would no longer work for him, there have been many rumors that 6 9 is going to leave the country and live his life out somewhere more low-key, probably somewhere near like the waters. There is also talk of him and his family moving back to where they are originally from. He will be recognized almost anywhere he goes, but if he does end up leaving the country and live somewhere low-key like that, he will most likely be able to live out his life. So far, there is no factual evidence to these claims, but with how things are shaping up, you can almost assume that they will be true because that really is his only option if he keeps refusing witness protection. After his home confinement time is up, we will start to see more of what he has planned for himself. So far, it seems like he will not be very public on social media, but knowing him, it could only be a short amount of time before he gets completely bored and just jumps back on social media. It actually is kind of surprising that he has no limitations, Obviously, he can't go troll and start problems. It would end up getting, you know, bad for him. He could eventually face more problems if he did that. But right now, he's not doing anything public on social media. It seems like he might actually just use it for business, and we might not have the same Takashi that we had before he went in. We will have to wait and see what his next moves are. We will keep you updated with any updates. And with that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know what you're feeling about all of this. Are you happy 6 9 is out or did he lose you as a fan after he turned into a snitch? I want to know where everyone stands so comment how you feel. Also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6 9 and if you are new to the channel please subscribe. Mixed Ice Media. See you in the next one.